Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? Um, I'm doing better. Um, I really am. I just got tired of staying at home. Staying at home. Doing, you know, sitting there just thinking on things and so I figured I'd just go for a drive, just to clear my head a little bit. And I have two days off today and tomorrow. And then I'm going back Thursday. I could have the third day off if I really wanted it. But if I just can't stay off that long. And I already had three days off. I already had I already had three days off, so it's just, I just needed an extra two, just to kind of get some rest, recover from it. I had a, I had the weirdest dream the night before the funeral, and, I mean, it was, it was weird. Um, I'm not gonna really explain what, what the whole dream was about. Um, I would, you know, I, I guess I will, you know, to kind of like get it off my chest. And I had this dream that I was in, like, this field. All of a sudden, like there were trees, there were trees everywhere, and everything. It was like a, it was like a field, but it had a little bit of trees in it. And then all of a sudden, like I seen I seen my grandpa standing. In the standing in the middle of the field, and then I seen another another light by him, but I couldn't see couldn't see him on what he looked like. Honestly, I think it was God, te you know, sending him to me in my dream, you know, giving me a message from him, him himself, you know, saying, you know, it's going to be all right. And my grandpa told me that in my dream, right before the funeral. He said, it's going to be all right, Seth. I knew right then and there I was kind of at peace with myself knowing that after that dream and I was just like I woke up from it. I mean, the dream looked real and everything, and I was just like, wow. You know, just kind of shocked. You can call me crazy if you want. You can call me crazy if you want. You can call me crazy if you want, but, you know, when you have a family member come see you in your dream and say everything's going to be alright, then you know 
it was an angel coming into your dream telling you, hey, everything is going to be all right. And, well, technically, Grandpa's my angel now, you know? He's my guardian angel. And so... I come to realize that, you know, it's... I'm at, I'm at peace, you know, that he's gone, but, and I, I feel blessed for all the people that came to the funeral that day, and the whole town of Tuscumbia and Iberia. I mean, this man was very, very well respected in the town, in both towns. But, you know, he told me, you know, before what he talked about on the phone was before he said all those negative things, you know, thrown in the towel and stuff. But he told me, he said, I know I hold you hold you back out of all the things you want to do in life. He says, I ain't going to be around anymore. And he said, you know, I want you to make the right choices though. But, <laughs> but, I want you to go out and accomplish your dream on what you want to do in life. I come to the conclusion, I come to the conclusion, conclusion, That I would, you know, there are a few things I want to do. You know, I want to become, you know, either I might want to go back to doing martial arts again at a studio, or, you know, become a boxer or something like that. I don't know yet. I mean, those are only two goals in mind. And I really want to become a boxer. Boxing is easy. It's not really a hard sport. I mean, it's not too strenuous. And it's easy to do. And he knew I love boxing. And, I mean, he knew I love to train. And he said, you know, that's the thing, Seth. You know, I still want you to train at the basement. I still want you to go for what you want to do in life. He says, I don't want you to feel miserable. I don't want you to feel upset. Or anything like that and that I'm gone and that's the thing it's just that you gotta live life to the fullest and you only have one life that's what he told me he said I just want you to be strong he says I want you to um Go for the things that you're doing, want to do, and I said, if you want to be something great, go for it. No hold back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to be something great, and know have, have have a name for myself. And it's just it's just gonna be hard to try to figure out how I'm gonna do that. But I just need to figure out something before it gets too late. And that's all I'm saying. It's like I need to figure out something before it's too late. It's like it's like he said, you know, you only get one life. 
you only get one life. So, which I already knew that. I already knew that and everything before he even passed, but he still wanted me to do the things I love doing. He still wanted me to do the things I enjoy doing, and he wants me to accomplish and go beyond things on what I want to achieve in life. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to do all what my grandpa wishes, wants me to do. I'm keeping my promise, being there for my grandma, and. You know, being there for her when she needs me. And I call her up every day ever since that happened. And, you know, see if she's alright. See if she needs me. See if she needs me for anything. And, you know, I, I think of my grandma very dearly. And, and it's like, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do without her. You know, if something would ever happen to her. But uh, she's getting up in her age, too. And she's a strong woman, that's for sure. I didn't know that. But, you know, we got one life, people. You know, we don't have two lives. You know, we need to... We need to... Go for the dreams that we want to go for, and that's what I'm going to try to figure out to do. I'm going to save up a little bit more money than what I have now in the bank, and then once I start saving, and then I might, then I might start considering on joining a gym again. So, um, the one in Elden that I went to, it wasn't no good. Um, it wasn't a real gym gym. I mean, it wasn't real uh, Taekwondo studio, wherever. I mean, it wasn't real Taekwondo training. And, um, like, she emphasized on katas and self-defense. And, it, look, katas are alright, but I'm like Terry Silver, Karate Kid 3, where he says to Daniel son, you know, katas only work good for sweat. You know, it ain't really good for self-defense um but it's okay to know katas i'm not saying there's nothing against katas but you know you can't really fight like that in real life you know use those techniques in real life fighting <laughs> you know it's okay to learn learn them and stuff but unless, you know if you don't have a partner yeah that's fine you know, you can do all the katas in the world if you don't have a partner to train with. I'm not saying that. But, really, technically, when it comes down to it, you know, you really... You know, you really can't use the stuff out of kata to fight with, you know? You know, you can't... You know, you can get... You can, the only thing that you could probably use is the punches, the blocks, the kicks. Um, but, like, the spear hands and shit that they do no no you know you can't you know you can't like do the spear hand on somebody and put their hand right through them you know and you know it's supposed to be like Mortal Kombat no you can't do that now you can Now, unless you train the spear hand all your life, then yeah, but, and that's the thing, people, it's just that, I'm, you know, I'm doing okay, just hanging in there, being strong, um, being, you know, doing what my grandpa love, wants me to do, and, and it's like I said, I'm just trying to hang in there, take it day by day, you know, move it on being strong and everything because he came to me in my dream and said everything's going to be alright Seth I said I'm always going to be here for you and this is the only way I can express my feelings right now and so I'm just trying to get it all out there and everything you know 
I thank you for all my supporters. Even the newer ones that have come to my channel. I thank you for supporting me and everything. Um, coming to my channel and everything. But it's just like I said. Um, in my last video, I'm not forcing anybody to do it. Or I'm not even talking bad about about it, but it's just it's just the fact that I'm kind of irritated that the pandemic took the man I like, like love <clears throat> that I love dearly, the man I love dearly, and. I did, you know, yeah, he's in a better place. He's not suffering anymore and all that. He's not suffering anymore. So, the only thing I hate about it is that the government lied about the shots. You know, they say, oh, it'll help. It'll help. But really, technically, it don't. So, like I said... It don't, um, cause I got, like I said, I got proof of it. Um, but it does, it does make it where you don't die as fast. Um, it, it does, it makes you sit, try to last a little bit longer when you have it. When you have it, but other than that, I said it's up to you guys. You can get it. This is be safe, but you don't have to get it if you don't want to. But I'm just saying the shots, all three shots, does not help. And that's the thing. It's just that I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's like I don't even know really what to believe anymore that that I see on TV. So it's like only thing I do believe is the news. Man, I mean, I believe on the criminal side, and I believe on the the in the injustice the uh, weather but when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to comes to uh, when it comes to him it, it, it just takes a toll on me but you know I'm like I said I'm just being strong and everything because but you know it is what it is and but I'm just gonna go for the things I enjoy doing 7 McDonald's 4 signing in